five real reasons why women play hard to get. I know it is tedious to talk about female mind games and it can be so frustrating, but let's be honest, in today's world, we go through a lot of them. And if you are watching, I know after you watch this video, you will know exactly what female mind games to watch out for and actually how to handle them. So these are female mind games that a lot of, mm, I wouldn't say a lot of women, but most women do play in regards to dating and our society these days. But I want to be clear on something. Not all women will play these type of mind games with you. So it's really important that you just don't focus on all women are doing this because then you will create it and attract it. So I'm going to go over five real reasons why women play hard to get and actually give you the understanding of why they do and what goes on in the female mind and what to do with it afterwards. So if this is your first time visiting this channel, I welcome you. My name is Apollonia Ponti. I'm a dating relationship and attraction coach for for men. I help men not only master their attraction skills and get better overall in dating and relationship, but overall in their life. And if this is your first time visiting, I welcome you to click that subscribe button right now and comment below because I love hearing from you guys. Also too, to all my loyal subscribers, I want to say hello to you and thank you for being a loyal subscriber. Now let's do this. Number one, the one female mind game is a woman will have this mindset where you need to show her that you need to invest in me, right? This is a game, right? What I'm talking about is like, you need to invest in me, meaning you need to take me out to fancy dinners. You need to tell me, um, buy me gifts. You need to supply monetary things for me, okay? These are basically transactional relationships. And this is where we would probably call the gold digger status would come in here, right? It's really important men to understand like no matter a woman's beauty, her beauty doesn't measure to the monetary value that she can offer. Here's where a transactional relationship is um, where I've seen where a lot of men will give into it. They will actually provide these type of gifts or luxuries or travels or dinners because they themselves are using her for her looks because they want to feel better about themselves in turn. That is what I call a transactional relationship. So if you're a guy that has been in these type of relationships and it doesn't feel good anymore, then maybe you're going about it wrong. Maybe you're leading with money. Maybe you're also not having boundaries and really meeting women in the wrong places. So one of these things is there are women out there that will have the mindset that you need to invest in them. And if you're looking for something more sustainable, I would ask you, why are you looking at dating as an investment, right? Dating shouldn't be an investment in someone to like you or to love you or to be with you, right? It should be a mutual exchange. Number two is chase me and show me you're worth it, right? Oh, this is a very popular one that I see in this modern day world today. I do not like it. It's probably one of my biggest pet peeves is when a woman is like, chase me, okay? You need to chase me and show me that you're worth it because I'm a woman. You need to chase me and show me you're worth it. This mindset is a very toxic mentality. And I think a lot of women do this as a protection mechanism because of the fact that they have been hurt in the past or have this like, I would say feminazi pride, right? And it's sad to say, but they're gonna lose out on a lot of great men and potential of good men. Now there's a difference I wanna be really clear between pursuing a woman and chasing a, a woman and that has that mindset. Typically for this tip on number two, she's going to want you to do everything where she will not even implement or budge a finger or initiate anything for you, right? I do believe that a man must pursue a woman in the beginning stages, planning the dates, but she needs to reciprocate, right? She make my things difficult. Like you'll plan a date and she'll be like, I'll let you know. And then she lets you know last minute um, because you have to follow up with her or she'll say like, you know, um, you didn't tell me, you didn't follow up with me or you didn't call me. And you're like, well, I just messaged you like twice this day week to try to set up the date. And she has this mentality where it's like, you have to prove something to her, but she doesn't give an inch to you. That's the key guys. Number three is I'm not that kind of girl. Okay. So 
I like to call this like a test, right? This is also a form of a test. A lot of women are in, in life, and especially, you know, what we've encountered, and especially myself, I know this, and having girlfriends is, you know, we get judged a lot for, you know, um, what we do, how we dress, who we sleep with. I mean, it's the list can go on. And there's this like certain role that society says a woman should play all the time. And she is a great woman, right? Where there's that role that women try to balance from because they don't want a man to respect them. They want a man to like them. They want a man to think highly of them, right? And so a lot of times a woman will play, you know, hard to get or play games because of the fact that she thinks that you're going to not respect her or truly know who she is as a person. And so when a woman is saying or acting like I'm not that kind of girl, she might be judging other women, but also too, she might be also too looking at you to say like, listen, I want to take things steps further, but I also don't want you to lose respect for me. So I'm not the kind of girl that's going to sleep with you early. I'm not the kind of girl that's going to jump into a relationship. I'm not the kind of girl that's going to just forget her life just because I'm dating a guy. Like I still want my independence penance, right? So this is where she's going to play hard to get, but it's not that unhealthy, right? The type of times that it's unhealthy is when she's throwing it back at you and saying, I'm not that kind of girl that's going to just go on dates with you just because, right? And this is where there might be a bit of tension between you guys. There might be some breakups. There might be something happening in your dating life. But in general, when a woman says, I'm not that kind of girl, it's because of the fact that she really, really doesn't want you to think not highly of her, doesn't want you to lose respect for her, and also wants you to really admire her in some way when you're dating her. And so number four would be trying to make you jealous. So this is a horrible one, most immature one out of all of them. And I've also seen a lot of women do this with men is they'll flirt with other people in front of you or talks about another man, right? Many women who do this are usually jealous or insecure, right? And a lot of times what they'll do is they'll talk about another man. Oh, this guy messaged me on Facebook and he really wants to like take me out to dinner while she's dating you. And you're like, why is he te she telling me this? Like, I don't understand. Well, it's because she wants to see how you react. It's also a test to see how you react about this other man. And so many men think of it as like a questioning of like, are we, is she not understanding that we're just, she, she, does she think we're just friends? Is she trying to make me jealous? So yes, she is trying to make you jealous and she's trying to get a rise over you. A lot of women do this because they want to show that other men are interested in them. And for a woman to show that other men are interested in them, it's because she has a low value of self-worth and self-esteem. It doesn't mean that she's a bad woman. There's probably things that have happened to her in the past that really you need to step in and this is where you need to voice a boundary and articulate like, listen, like me and you are dating. Um, I really don't want to talk about another guy. I don't know why you're bringing this up to me. Like and question her, why are you bringing this up to me? Is there a reason? And actually confront it, but in a dynamic where it's like you put it back on her, where she has to justify her actions. Because many people, what they'll do is they will perform actions, but don't think that they're going to be challenged to justify an action, right? So they just think someone is going to just fall at what they're saying and give in to what they're saying. But one of the biggest things about boundaries is just figuring out the why behind the reason, okay? And when you figure out the why behind the reason, it's just about asking questions to get the other person to justify their actions or for you to understand why they are doing that with compassion and empathy, of course. And then also too, if a woman is flirting with other men in front of you to try to make you jealous, believe me, men, this is very immature. A woman that does this, is doing this because she might like you, yes. And she's trying to get a rise out of you. But again, women who lack self-esteem, self-worth, they'll do things like this because they wanna see you get a rise out of it. They wanna see you get jealous sometimes. They wanna see that they, they wanna show you that other men want them. They wanna feel like they're in demand for some reason. And this is because they're craving attention from men. Be very cautious with a woman like this. Now, Here's what I will say and what I've seen. A very mentally stable, emotionally mature, high value man, when he steps into a world like this with a woman, he will question her actions, bring it to the forefront, and basically say like, this is not attractive. And the woman will then get a chance to decide how she's gonna show up and even level up in her behaviors. I don't think it's an 
end all be all unless she's highly flirting with a guy kissing him and it's just so disrespectful but if she's just trying to get attention then it's something and it's the beginning stages and it's something you need to adjust and talk about and if she switches her frame and her behavior is typically a woman in the face of a man that is very emotionally stable secure delivers with empathy and compassion can deliver a message and really challenge her to accept like why are you doing this because it's something i don't like and i can't tolerate moving forward you know kind of thing mentality then it's going to challenge her to be a better woman for you. And this is where relationships you start to grow. Okay, guys, because we're not all perfect. Let's be honest. Now, the last thing in regards to a woman playing hard to get, which is one of the most important is I'm going to go into really quickly. But if you are still watching this video, I want you to take the time right now to click that subscribe button and also comment below and tell me some other games that you've been seeing that in your wheelhouse to help the other fellow men out as well. The last one is called absorbing, benching, whatever we want to call it. This means coming in and out whenever she wants. It's kind of like you're the guy that she likes, but doesn't really have too much attraction for, really doesn't make her want to maybe even jump in bed with you or go on dates with you too much. But she, every once in a while, she'll go on a date with you. Maybe she'll flirt with you. Maybe she'll get attention from you. Maybe she'll go out with your friends with you and bring her friends along. It's kind of like this attention seeking relationship with you. It's kind of like she half likes you, but she knows it's not a fully, I want to be with this guy. So what happens here is when absorbing or benching is typically when a woman doesn't have anybody else on her roster, she'll come back to you for that attention. I know it sounds horrible, but here's the thing, men, is men do this too. I got to be honest, women and men do this. It's just the modern day games that we do play. But it's not to focus and say absorbing and benching is going to happen to you all the time. I think absorbing or benching, quote unquote, happens because of two reasons. One, because a man doesn't identify how to really embody attraction. And then two is because she's just not a good fit for you. You guys don't really have anything in common and you're just trying to make something work at the end of the day. So if you want to get better with attraction, as you know, I have free dating evaluation calls that you can book for completely free down below by clicking the link. If you want to get better at attraction and maybe being able to identify these games or getting rid of these games of your dating life and really being able to attract well-rounded great women and be well-rounded and a great man yourself and be comfortable in attraction, be authentic in attraction, be real in attraction, and really be like your dating life is working for you. Then I would encourage you to click that link below and book a free dating evaluation to see how we can meet your needs, see how I can meet your needs, see how my team can meet your needs in regards to coaching, or if you want some attraction coaching, I would encourage you. It's completely free, guys. Just you have to show up. It's all about the investment in yourself. So as always, if you want to stay here and keep watching, I have this next video right over here for you, which is a really great video all about attraction and what will really help you with getting a woman into attraction or seduction. And you can watch that next. As always, I'll see you in the next one. And remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.